Welcome back to my office, and it is story time. I know that a few of you have asked for some extra stories, so I'll try to go ahead and get that done, okay? So, today's story is Jonathan James and the What If Monster. Here we go. Oh, let's make sure you can see. What if monsters like to hang out and fill up our heads with worry and doubt? They are sneaky and quiet and quick as a blink. The words they whisper can change how we think. Jonathan James heard those words full of dread and all those what ifs got stuck in his head. What if you tumble? What if there's wind? What if you slip and your knee gets skinned? Uh-oh, he's up in a tree, right? What if they giggle? What if it's chilly? What if you jump and you look really silly? So they're at the beach and he's starting to wonder and worry about um, jumping off the diving board. What if it's hard? What if you're bad? What if they lay, laugh and make you feel sad? There he is playing baseball, right? So he's kind of worried and wondering what if something happens and, and he's not very good at baseball, right? What if it's ugly? What if it stinks? What if, what if that's what everyone thinks? There's this little monster, right? And he's doing his best drawing and painting. What if it's yucky? What if it's icky? What if mom yells at you because you're too picky? Uh -oh. What if it's dark? What if it's scary? What if there's something giant and hairy? Sometimes I get worried at night too. One mile fun run. What if you lose? What if you're last? What if you're slow and never get fast? There he is. He's worrying and having the what ifs again. What if she laughs? What if she runs? What if she thinks you're not any fun? He takes that little guy with him everywhere, doesn't he? Now, wait a minute. I have something to say after hearing what ifs all through the day. I hear all your worries. I hear all your claims. But what if you're wrong? Asks Jonathan James. He's telling his what if monster that um, the what if monster might be wrong. What if I climb to the top of the tree and then never slip or skin up a knee? What if I jump right into that pool and everyone thinks I look really cool? And what if baseball is nothing but fun and I end up hitting a triple home run? And what if my drawing goes up in the wall and everyone thinks it's the best one of them all? And what if I taste some of that food and it, put, I, and it puts my mouth in a really good mood? And what if I run in a really big race and have a great time, no matter the place? And what if I sleep and have the best dream? That monsters are sweet, sweeter than they all seem. Uh-oh, that one didn't sound quite right. Let me try that one again. And what if I sleep and have the best dream? That monsters are sweeter than they all seem. And what if the chance I take in the end is just how I find my very best friend? All right, I know that right now it's really a little bit scary and everything is different than what you're used to, but what I really want you to do is start putting that what if Put him away. Talk to him. Tell him exactly how you think. And what if it's not all true? 
okay? If you're concerned and worried, make sure you talk to your grown-up, okay? They'll tell you what your what ifs, okay? Now, I want you to draw a picture of your what ifs and write about uh, everything that is kind of worrying you and um, talk to your grown-up about it, okay? Have a really good day. And remember, not all with what ifs happen, okay? Look at Jonathan James. Have a really great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, and uh, stay active. Talk to you soon.